Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, a couple days ago, I put out a tease telling you that I bought myself something. Wow, this is it. I've been dabbling with the uh, ham radio now for a few months, and I've been having a lot of fun, but I've been having a lot of frustration as well. Because as my skills and knowledge are increasing, my equipment wasn't. And uh, yeah, here's something you might find a little interesting. If you're a ham guy, you should recognize what this is. I took the Element 4 and am now an Amateur Extra. But anyway, I've gone through a bunch of radios trying to find everything that I wanted, and I couldn't do it. Well... Instead of keep playing around, I just bought this one because this does everything I wanted to do and more. But here's the cool part, and this is why I wanted to make this video, because even if you're not a radio guy, I think you're going to find this uh, pretty interesting. Here is the block diagram of a regular radio receiver. There's your antenna. Um, everything comes in through the RF amplifier in the tuning section. Then it's passed to the mixer where it's mixed with the local oscillator. Passed to the IF filter. Then it's passed to the demodulator. Then it's passed to an audio amp and to a speaker. That's the way radios have been made since Marconi. Well, this radio, the ICOM IC7300, is not like that at all. This is an SDR. This is a software defined radio. So its block diagram looks like this. Here's the antenna and it comes to something called a spectral capture unit. This simply grabs everything in the RF world. Whatever's out there, it grabs it all. Passes it to an FPGA. The FPGA does all the radio stuff. Then it goes to a digital to analog converter to the audio amp and out. So all the stuff that made those old radios weigh 100 pounds is gone. This weighs 5 pounds. Uh, it's not even a, I mean, it's about 10 inches by, I don't know, 11 inches by 4 inches. It's relatively small. So I'm going to turn on the power supply. And then we'll bring up the radio. And I'm going to show you a few things. Okay, we're looking at the 40 megahertz band here, and I'm going to zoom in. And hopefully it'll focus. That's not too bad, I guess. So what you're seeing here, this is the spectrum display, just like in a spectrum analyzer, and this is the waterfall display of signals. This is our tuning, this is our S meter for signal strength. So let's take a look at this. This looks like a pretty intense signal. All I have to do is touch it. And it kind of tunes in, and then I can auto tune in. Seventy feet in the air, and then the bottom one is at about um, uh, thirty-five feet, and uh, they're both. Uh, so I am seeing here the entire forty megahertz band from seven point one two five up to seven three. These are all the signals that are being relayed to my 40 megahertz band and through the antenna right now I'm loving it and uh, we're in the northwest corner I can touch any signal that was pretty much noise and just it takes me right to it Everything, almost everything, can be accessed through the touchscreen. If I want to change bands, 
I just come here and press that button. And somebody there is Oblon the old Espanol. Now look at the size of that signal. It's super strong. Touch it, touch it. And we're picking up the signal. Absolutely beautiful. We'll go to... That's no, too low. My antenna doesn't pick that up. This is the um, 80 meter band. We can pick a signal. USB and the carrier drops. The audio usually kind of stays up. It is really quiet today, so I wanted to show you how fantastic the noise reduction on here is, but it doesn't seem like it needs to be. But I can turn on the noise reduction. He, of course, he quit talking as soon as I turned on the noise reduction. Let's see if we can get another signal. Okay, so here's no noise reduction. Noise reduction. It also has a built-in tuner. We'll go back to 40 meters. No noise reduction. Noise reduction. And that's without tuning the noise reduction. We also have filters we can go through. And they're all adjustable. Yeah, I know that area there. Quite a few of the towns around there. Now, we don't have to look at this scope. If we want to look at something else, for instance, the audio being played, we can see the audio frequencies. Or if we want to look at different types of meters. There's our S-meter power out, automatic level control, compressor, standing wave ratio. Uh, uh, yeah. Drain well, current, years, it's, our it's voltage, our temperature, and the weather is uh, a great. And we can go back to the scope. Well, I lost you. We can make the scope small uh, and see yeah, this. We, we can touch yeah, I uh, and switch through mouse, different meters. I mean, it's just I totally, sure totally amazing. Glad I came back quick. Let me find a uh, an empty frequency. And look up and we'll see if this frequency is available for us. Let me tune up first. Okay, now we're tuned. Is this frequency available? I'm going to ask three times. Is this frequency in use? Frequency in use. Okay, doesn't sound like there's anybody there. So what we can do is come in here, go to voice, and I've recorded a CQ message to play. CQ is just a general call. So if you're in a contest or something and you don't want to keep talking and wasting your voice, you can just hit the button. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is key. There's a microphone. CQ, CQ. Unkeyed calling CQ and standing by. How cool is that? Come back to another one of our signals. And um, that's where my ham radio shack is, but I live uh, in, 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 in a gated community, so I'm just connecting via my uh, computer. We can press the multi-button here. 
and control our RF power mic gain compressor. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it has over a hundred menus. It's just incredibly cool. What it is not is cheap. This cost me a little over a thousand dollars, but it is completely software upgradable and ICOM says that they will be keeping up with this radio over the next five years or so. It first came out in 2016. It's not the latest radio on the market, but it is very, very cool and I absolutely love it. So thanks for watching this video, checking out the new radio. I hope you enjoyed it. Even if you're not a radio guy, just to see the technology that is involved with this is so cool. You know, in the old days, you would have a tuner, power supply, your radio, maybe some audio equipment. Now I've got a power supply and this radio and it is state of the art. Well, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.